one o'clock in Lincoln Park. Um, and, a, and some people there had never heard of KPFK. T this morning, as I did housework, I listened to KPFK from 9 till 2. Every single programmer talked about Occupy. It was such an education, and I'm telling you that because it's all online. Go find it and listen to it. A, a woman from New York, the occupiers, was um, you know, interviewed. And on demand, she said, no. No, if we make demands, first of all, there's so many demands. They know what we want. They know that we just want to say there's something wrong. They know the issue. But if we make demands, that means we give the power to them. What we are about is gathering people together to say we don't like it this way. There's something badly wrong. Um, the, um, uh, something really interesting is the chief pre uh, press person from LA Occupy said, um, he said, what we're about, everybody's trying to define us, right? I mean, it's only day seven here and they want a definition. Baloney, this is about, and this is what he said, we are trying to build a movement. We are trying to get people who don't like it the way it is for, for many reasons. People have different issues that hit them the hardest. Bring them together to say that we have in common and network ourselves. And he said, and somewhere now they're planning to have in mid-America come summer, a kind of Occupy Together meeting with people from all Occupy to talk about drawing up demands and permanent ways and ways of doing joint campaigns, etc. Don't give our power away by just by limiting ourselves to any demand right now. Our demand is that things change and we want environmental sustainability, social justice, and you can say spiritually satisfying in the sense, isn't it hard to be happy if you know that half the world is starving? It's yes. hard to feel spiritually rich when you know that I'm afraid in America we're living off the backs of so many hundreds of millions of people. And it's hard to feel good about that. So this is a wrong way the world's running, and that's our demand. Change. Change now and make it good for everybody. I want to tell you something else. Information is so key. Random Blanks is a paper that's been publishing out of San Pedro for a long time. They cover things from a procrastinate viewpoint. They and this is a front page article on Occupy, LA Occupy. The author, Peter, uh, Paul Rosenberg, is Long Beach. He was with us all yesterday. So, um, we gave, I got a lot of them, and they almost all went out yesterday. I have a couple. But where you can find them is it down at Long Beach Cafe on Ocean Boulevard, one block west of um, Alamitos. They have about 150 there right now. They have a literature uh, rack that you can go in the door. So I really suggest you do that. And, and you, with all your groups and whatever you see, call. You know, okay. Um, on withdrawing money from the bank. I, okay, I think we should do that. But the way you get power is when you do things in concert. Me going and taking all my money out of Bank of America, which I'm going to do. But I want to do it with other people. I want to do, I want to send something to our email list that says, this is the day we go to Bank of America and say, we 25 people are taking out our money. It totals to X amount of hundreds of thousands of dollars, and we want you to change. And then we can send a press release, and then they know we have power. So one by one, I, I don't think this is the way we have power. Uh, I think that's all. <laughs>